Hi guys, my crew here. This is my loot from 500 Vindicta. I wanted to do a Vindicta loot video as every time I put it on a straw poll it's always second and it never quite gets first. So this will be episode number 13 in the Loot From X series just as an added video that I wanted to include for a lot of people that wanted it. I'll leave the straw poll in the description that I put in the last video for the Loot From X series so that you can vote on the video after this one. Right now Grigorovic is winning that one so if you want to have a go at the voting and haven't done so already go in the description and take a look at the straw poll. But either way Vindicta is a consistent money maker and can make up to 8 mil GP per hour on average. I'm going to talk about the solo rates and the duo rates for Vindicta in this video and then show my loot from the 500. So let's get into the video. Dragon Rider Lance boy! <laughs> that was so quick, so easy. Uh, starting off this loot video strong. Let's get our lungs. This is the last skill. Bang. <gasps> oh my god! Actually got a crystal now! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that was literally called again, like exactly on the drop. Oh. oh, good job. So we have this thing on Discord where people call 10% on the drop and if they can get it correct they get 10% and obviously someone called it exactly on the drop. Oh, go away animal core bodies, there's four of them, no other anima piece, just bodies. Ah! I don't want them, I want an actual drop, please game, people keep scratching me, I don't want to be scratched, thank you very much. Sometimes when you've been doing Vindicta for 6 hours, your teammate just wants to kill himself apparently, running back and forth through the flames until he dies. Austin just died guys. Oh! Finally got it! Ah! That's the pet. 1,625 KC. Took its time, but it came. Oh, yay. Yeah, Vindiddy is mine. Yay. I've got to admit that Vindiddy does look absolutely amazing and is probably one of my favourite God Wars Dungeon 2 boss pets. The only one I like more is Lil Weir, so I'll probably go for that one next. And now I've got both of the Vindicta pets. So as for these 500 kills of Vindicta, we made 159.3 million, so near enough 160 mil in these 500 kills. We managed to get 2.3 mil in just pure coin drops, and then the other notable items are obviously going to be the Dragon Bones, which are the biggest source of income, then followed by the Black Dragon Hide and the Rune Kite Shield that are also really, really good money. The rest is just an added bonus, and as all the God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses do, they all drop a lot of coal. And Vindicta gave 7.4 million just in coal. So just the uncommon drops alone is a lot of money. Then when we scroll up to the actual drops, we got 3 crests and 1 lance. Then we got 5 essences, 4 dormant animal core bodies and 1 dormant animal core legs. So as far as drops goes, I think we were kind of average on drops. Most people that I know that kill Vindicta get around the same amount of drops in 500 kills, so that's always nice. That first hour really, really boosted up our drops as we only got two more drops for the rest of the 13 hours. Then, as you can see at the top, just some rare drop table items that Vindicta drops every so often, but they're literally not worth anything, so that doesn't matter. So all in all, nearly 160 mil for 14 hours work seems absolutely amazing to me. As for the loot breakdown from the whole 500 kills, the total loot over the 500 kills was 159,383,603 GP as you just saw in that price check. 
This makes the average kill price 318,767 GP. The average solo kills per hour that I was getting was around 25. It can sometimes be a bit more and be a bit less, but I was getting around 120 to 1 minute 45 kills. It just all depends on how well you get with the second phase, because that's the one that takes the time. So if you get lucky, you can get 1 minute 20 kills, but if you get unlucky, your kills can take up to 1 minute 45, which slows your overall hour down. This would mean the Solo GP per hour would be 7,969,175 GP if you done the 500 kills with an average of 25 kills per hour. The average duo kills per hour is around 45 with two people doing good DPS. That means the duo GP per hour would be 7,172,257 GP. This is judging that you do the 500 kills and then obviously you split it 50-50. You're getting your kills slightly under twice as fast because of the respawn rates which kind to skew with it a little bit. But because of this, the GP less is only 800,000 an hour. It's so, so much easier in a duo than it is a solo. So I would definitely advise duoing it with a friend for more fun and just easier and more sustainable kills. It's a bit less mind numbing and a bit more fun doing it with someone that you can just have a laugh with. I would rather minus the 800k GP per hour and do it with a friend then get the little tiny bit of extra money but be on your own. So what if we didn't get any drops at all? The total GP without any drops at all is 71,709,278 GP. This would make the average kill price 143,419 GP a kill. That would make the solo GP an hour without any drops at all 3,585,475 GP on average. Even without any drops, that's a really good amount of money every hour. The duo GP an hour is again only slightly less at 3,226,927 GP. Again, I would take that 360k less just to have a friend come along and just ease the pain of doing it for six hours non-stop if you're going to spend a big sitting. If you're just going to do an hour here and there, solo is completely fine. But when I was doing my solo kills, I kind of got bored quite quickly compared to when I done my duo kills because it was more of a laugh. Vindicta is all in all a very amazing boss. Vindicta is especially good to get into PVM in with as it's kind of a gateway boss, similar to how QBD is, but you could do it with a friend as well. This actually means you could probably do Vindict with less gear than you could QBD, just because when you have two people, it's much easier. These 500 kills took me around 13 hours. This was nine hours of duo and four hours of solo, just to get the different rates and things like that. As you can see, I prefer duo because I've done way more of it, but I've done some solo for this video in general. Plus, Solo gave me a much higher chance at the pet, and I managed to get my pet while soloing, so it worked out great. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. A lot of you commented on my giveaway video with your opinion on what you like to watch the most out of RS3 YouTubers. A lot of you voted on loot videos, so I'll probably start doing a few more loot videos like this in the future, just because it's what a lot of you said you really, really enjoy. So if you did enjoy it, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you're new for future content like this. Feel free to join my friend chat micro if you fancy to talk to me in game. Goblin Slayers with a Z is my clan. It's open to everyone and everyone. And we're having a lot of clan events, a lot of boss masses, mini games, all that good stuff. The Discord link is in the description if you fancy chatting on voice communications and the Twitter link is now in the description as well if you want to follow me there for some updates and just to see what's going on with the videos and just me in general. And until next time, see ya!